Hello everybody, McGregor here, and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi, and I need your help with something. So, right now, I'm trying to pick out a uniform for our army, and I got Tabachnak here to help me out. Um, so, what he's wearing right now is, uh, was it the Pole March helmet, then the Brute armor, uh, fitted greaves, and... Armored rag skirt. So, so these are armor. Um, well, these three here are modded armor pieces, and same with this nomad cape. So, I'm trying to figure out what looks good. Now, I do like what our uh, what my character is wearing, and I kind of like this armor here I want I want everybody to have more of like a uniform type of look now if I go over to Tabarnak his armor is medium class chest piece is heavy and his greaves are heavy uh, the mod doesn't actually contain any leg armor that's why I put on the armored rag skirt because it kind of looks like it could kind of match and the reason why I had I downloaded this mod here for the Nomad Capes, although they look amazing, it's not what I was looking for for this armor here. So let us here. Let me show you some of the other armors I got going on in here. Come on, tap out neck. We come over here now. I'm trying to have our. Um, our faction to kind of have its own look type of thing. I, I want, I want good looking armor. I don't want overpowered armor. I don't know if this is overpowered. That's why I'm kind of leaning away a bit from the Crusader armor. Plus, I would like um, kind of like a heavy variant for our fighters and a little bit of a lighter variant for our um, uh, archers. Now, the other armor I do like is this one here, what Jewel has on, although I think it's a bit overpowered, so I don't want to use it. I'm not about being, you know, OP, I'm about having fun, and, you know, what looks nice. <laughs> Oops! I got the wrong person. Come here, tap off neck. There we go, so let me pause this. So there's different colors. What I um, I don't remember what this mod is called. It's it's in my mod list, but um, what I like is that you have different colors. So like this is iron gold, and there is like an iron variant. Here's a gold variant. If you're wondering, that's what that looks like. Here's a gold helmet. See, that looks kind of nice. Now, the only problem is I don't have gold leggings, which is why I'm I'm thinking of going with the silver. Now, I do normally like the Hoplite helmets. The only problem with this Hoplite helmet is the crest is tiny, tiny, tiny. So, I could also use it without the crest. Uh, do we have do I have one here? There's a brute helmet. Here's a hoplite in bronze. That's what it looks like without the crest. And I'm thinking of going with the blackened chainmail. I haven't built it yet, so I don't know what it looks like. This is what it looks like with the chain. And that's the leather. Now I could also go with without any um, type of, you know, leather clothing underneath, but this offers a little bit more protection. <laughs> so here is scaled armor, if you're, in case you're wondering. Looks pretty cool. And then we have the Linothorax. I don't know what kind of armor that is, but looks pretty cool too. Then we also have just the breastplates. That's what that looks like. So 
yeah, so I just want to know what you guys think on what I should equip our guys with. I'm leaning towards this. Maybe a different type of helmet. I really wish the hoplite crest was bigger. Yeah, it, it looks a little bit too stumpy. I don't know if it's like a if it was a mod limitation or I mean this modder did a lot better than I could have done, but uh, I don't, I don't, I really don't like that little, little crest. And I find this one looks a little bit better. Uh, there's also this one here. That one looks pretty good too. Uh, I should have more. Is there any more in here? Uh, this is light armor. That one looks kind of good, too. I'm missing a helmet. Oh, here it is. No, never mind. I wasn't missing a helmet. There's also this one here, too. That one's the brute crested. Yeah, I don't know if I like that as much. So, I want to know what you guys think on... What well, armor I should have our kind of faction wear. And I'm leaning towards this. Maybe different pants. Um, I, I want our guys it to, to make it look like it's an actual faction. And not just, you know, like I'm wearing this. This guy's wearing this. Somebody else is wearing something else. You know, I want it to look uniformed. Like, like, like these guys. But I'm going to change this out. Oh, you have that, you have blackened. Okay, maybe I'll have, I want to see what it looks like. Come here. I want to see what the blackened armor, uh, chainmail looks like underneath. Turn off jobs. And let's trade with Tabarnak. Okay, that doesn't look too, too bad. Hmm. Maybe the regular chainmail is the way to go. And of course, this one here, he, this, this would be like the, the heavy soldier variant. Now you get back to work. Hmm. Yeah, tell me what you think. If I actually, even if I should have Under Armour, or maybe there is, um, there is oh I got the wrong guy. Let me come here. There is the dark leather shirt. Doesn't cover all the arms. I wonder if there's uh, a leather tank top. There might be. I don't have it on me. I I went with the turtleneck first, and I just stuck with the turtleneck because I liked it the best. I have to see. What other shirt armors there are? The chain doesn't look bad. I can't make chain. I have to buy that the blueprint for that. Yeah, so let me know what you think. I'm going to keep tap out knack like this for a bit. The reason why I was looking for capes is I wasn't have the back looks very plain. So I was wondering if I could put on um if I put on a cape, if that would help out, but it, it covers more than than I than I want. But it does look really cool, so I'm gonna keep it. I might give it to our uh, farmers just just for looks. Actually, that's not a bad idea because you can have three different colored ones. You have one that goes on the back, a type that goes on the back, and a type that goes on the belt. So I can give, let's say, our farmers, I don't know, white, give our crafters black, our laborers blue, you know, just so that they're easy to spot and easy to tell apart, you know, right off the bat. That's not a bad idea. I think I'll do that. Plus, they're not going to be wearing, you know, 
much in terms of of armor. You know what? Let's try that right now. Um. Uh, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. But yeah, tell tell me what if you how you like this armor here, this little setup here. If you think of any other combinations, let me know. But I think I think this is what I'm gonna go with. Like I said, it's more to make us feel like like an actual faction, you know, somebody something that somebody can you know be afraid of, and not you know <laughs> look like a band of like rebels or something like that. So, and I also still don't know what weapons I'm going to equip everybody. I have a thing for pole arms, like spears and all that. So I might equip them with spears. Some of them. I like the crest. I really, I do like having a crest. I just really wish the crest on this was bigger. Oh, that could grow on me. It's just that, yeah. I don't know. He does look cool. I wish I wish there was proper leggings for him in in the mod, but uh, yeah, there isn't any. If you want to know, let's just pause here. Like, uh, no, it's under heavy. So it starts off with the bandit helmet. It goes down to brute crested, and you got the brute. You get the also the uh, helmet, iron gold helmet. Then you got the Corinthian. You got the heavy Corinthians. You got the hoplite. So you you got you got a lot of different stuff. Well, then you also got female breastplate, male breastplate. There's the brute armor. There's light armor, scaled armor, and the shin guards, which are a medium armor. Actually, I have them here if you want to see them. Right here. Although these ones here are gold. So another thing that also works is these. These kind of also work with it. Kinda. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it, I won't make a decision right away. Oh, let's just quickly try out. Oops, wrong one. This one. That doesn't look too, too bad. But I think, I think this works a little bit better. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to choose iron as, as my, uh, well, actually, what's that look with gold? Hmm, I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll see what you guys say. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, bronze does look good too. And I might have certain guys like our um, close combat guys might be wearing like this setup. And then our uh, archers are going to be wearing like, of course, smaller armor, a different type of setup. So. Yeah, but uh, I won't make a decision right away because I normally record in bulk, so <laughs> next episode I probably wouldn't have read the comments yet, so. Oh, another thing is we got the, this little guy here, I call him Iron Man, he's just sitting here right now, uh, to um, 
to actually recruit him, you have to do like a whole bunch of sequence of uh, uh, like you kind of have to hack him type of thing. But the sequence is always the same time. He he actually says what it is, uh, like like choice one, three, four, blah 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 blah. So if I capture the next one, I'll show you guys how I did it. So, but the sequence is always the same. But yeah, we have another skeleton, which is great also. So, oh, another thing I noticed is we have a spy in here. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I was watching some people die and I noticed something is wrong here. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it right now. Let me, you know, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Well, hello there. I don't know how long you guys been here, but the Western Hive has not visited me in a long time. And <laughs> luckily you guys don't starve to death. But yeah, so we, we have somebody hiding out here. Okay, so right now I, we still have a little bit of food problems. Not much. But uh, we are holding our own. I think water is the main concern right now. Because without water, nothing can grow. And, and I've still been debating if I we should move our base or not. You are an ally. That is cool armor. I'll have to go over what type of shirts we can get to um, put, to put on Tabathnak and, and the rest of our warriors. I could even have different squads wearing different colors, so. But, uh, yeah, all right. I am going to do stuff. I don't know what yet, <laughs> but I'll be back. All right, so I'm still playing around with some armor combinations. Now, I do, I was able to get the leather uh, vest, mediocre black. That's what he's wearing right now. Um, you can kind of see it a bit, but I mean, you can see his muscly arm, so there is that. Uh, I don't know if the original one uh, would blend in more. I didn't see it at the, um, uh, at the traders at the time. So, for now, we'll just go with Mediocre Black, I think. Like I said, it all depends on what you guys like. Now, I was looking at the helmets, and I have a good idea of what I want for, like, because I am, I'm starting to like this a little bit more and more. Um, the ch with the chainmail, that one's also not too, too bad. If I come over here, go into this inventory... Oh, no, wait, you already have it here. I don't find that one looks bad either. But here, here he has, you know, the, the only thing that's going to hurt him a lot is probably his arms aren't fully protected. So that, that is a bit of a problem. Now, the other thing that I have to think, that we have to think about is... Our crossbowmen. Now, I think our crossbowmen are going to wear this light body armor if we go with this ancient look, which I think we we might, um, because it has no penalties to uh, crossbows, but this helmet does. So we'll probably have to use a different helmet, and I'm probably thinking the hoplite because it has no penalties. There's also this one here. That one doesn't look bad either. But this, this one has a penalty to crossbows, and this one doesn't, but it doesn't offer as much protection as, as this armor here. What if I gave you this? Just to see. Yeah. There's also the dark leather shirt. And we'll get the chain. The chain one doesn't look too, too bad. It does decrease our crossbow. And I, because these are going to be more strictly crossbowmen, I'd like them to have, you know, a little bit more, 
freedom in that in uh in shooting let's take a look at come over here inventory this helmet here this one does have a penalty let's take a quick look yeah oops doesn't look too too bad this doesn't come in all iron it comes in um, iron gold which is this one here or iron copper and I'll probably go uh, iron bronze and I probably go iron bronze because it's a little bit not as harsh here in terms of color I could even give them uh, a gold helmet? How would that look? At least with this. That could work. I really wish I had more pants options. I mean, I could give them, like, I guess drifter pants. It looks weird. <laughs> we're playing dress up right now. That, that's what we're doing. Who has... Who has... You have drifted... Come here. Oh, no, no, no. Come back here, you. Give me your pants. I want to see what they look like on him. You know, that also looks weird. I'd have to give him different different um, shoes and all that. Thank you very much. You could go now. Oh, where are you going? You're probably going to eat. No, I put you on a job. Yeah, and this combination here should not have any penalty... And the crossbows. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to ramp up production for this. But I still want to know what you guys think. I'm still really interested in knowing what you guys think about all of this. Uh, let's go back to this one. I gotta have our foot soldiers like this and our archers like that. That could work. This is what I've been spending most of my Kenchi time on. Is playing <laughs> dress up. Look at all of that. Not bad. And this is the the brute with the gold trim. You can kind of see the gold trim right there. I kind of like it with the gold trim. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to ramp up production for this. If you guys choose something else, it doesn't really bother me. Because, well, it levels up our, uh, our big red there. And I do want to see what it's going to look like with the blackened chain. I don't think it's going to change too, too much. But I would like to have a uniform for everybody. And this might be the way to go. It might not be the most protective. How was it compared to what you had? What you had? I heard that the, the holy chest plates aren't the best. Checks is a hundred. Head here is five. Arms eighty five. Check the yeah. You don't do much for the arms. So we might be better equipped than the than the holy nation, which is fine with me. These aren't the best legs, but I can't find legs that kind of match 
you know, this. So. Okay, then, yeah. <laughs> and this, this one's just more for looks. Although, like I said, we could go with the chain shirt for our fighters. For now, I'll just give them tank tops. Yeah, let's see what you guys say. Okay, but either way, I'm going to ramp up production. Uh, I know it takes them a while to get anything going here. So, let me know what you guys think. And I think I'm going to call it the end of the episode here. Do I have to figure... Yeah, the back is also playing. I gotta see if there's any other type of cape mods. It'd be cool if I can do like a 300 type of like, you know, the, the uh, red type of cape and all that. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of weird if with them having uh, <laughs> katanas. Or uh, I could give them claymores as their weapon. That's the other thing I need to figure out is what weapons I give them. Um... I was thinking, like, I like to do a sort of spear, but I haven't been able to find good spears. Maybe the, um, this one here, the Nada Naginata. That one kind of looks like a, uh, who has it? Somebody here has it. Not you, not you. You, you do. Where are you? That's what it looks like. Does anyone have the... What does that one look like? Because I can make this now. Now... Claymore is that one. And you guys don't have any weapons just yet. Really got to go through everybody's equipment. And yeah, we'll see. I, I know there, I think there is a spear or something in one of the packs I downloaded. So I'm going to have to look for that. This is the triangle one. That's what that one looks like. We can't make it. It looks pretty cool. It's just I'm worried that it's a bit too strong. That's why I only have one. That is... Let's see this one here. Can we give them that one too? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm probably going to have our, some bug guys run back to the hub in between episodes. To see if there's any new blueprints and all that. But uh, yeah. Anyways. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Stop that. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed. Don't forget that like button. And subscribe if you'd like to see more of my daily episodes. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What you prefer. Uh, in terms of armor. Like I said. I could choose like one of these. But I would like something to tie in with everything because um, if you're wondering this one here I can't have a crossbow man wear any of this stuff it just it just sucks it out and I would like our guys to kind of feel more uniform and I just realized that this you have books so I'm gonna have to give that to somebody else but uh, yeah anyways thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time bye bye